Assalamu alaikum students. Uh, I'm Razia from BHSS Kufara. Uh, dear students, uh, we till now we have uh, studied uh, employability skills, ICT skills, we have gone through writing skills, we have uh, gone through uh, word, how we uh, how we work in word, how we uh, and we have also gone through some formulas, some functions which are used in uh, which are used in spreadsheet and uh, we have gone through some presentation skills as well and uh, now uh, today we'll uh, start uh, with a new unit that is digital documentation uh, which is uh, advanced in fact it is advanced digital documentation uh, using library office writer and in this we'll start with a chapter in this unit we'll start with the chapter that is introduction to styles uh, as you know that uh, library office writer it offers a variety of features and commands uh, these uh, features and commands they help us to create an attractive and presentable document uh, with a consistent format okay uh, further i can say that uh, these documents when we create in library office they are more easily uh, read and they are more comprehend and uh, they can be edited with very easily and uh, there are some editing features uh, which can make our uh, document much more beautiful and uh, we can use number of styles in a document by using style format uh, we have to create new style or we have to update an existing style or apply an existing style and uh, in this uh, we'll go uh, to introduction of styles where uh, how a style uh, what's a style in fact a style is nothing but a collection of all formatting information uh, which uh, you want to save and then apply on the document uh, for example if you want to change uh, the um, if you want to change the text size for example if you want to uh, want to have the text size as 12 and uh, you want to name it as bookman old style for example the style name is bookman old style for example and then uh, you want to give it weight and give the weight to the text weight means bold or uh, unbold uh, that means you are bolding your text uh, okay bold means highlighting your text okay alignment and you are giving alignment to your to your text you are giving alignment to your text that means uh, you are uh, giving uh, alignment to your text the alignment can be a left alignment it can be right alignment it can be justified okay uh, then that means you are creating a style this is the introduction to style that means you are doing number of chains to a text and these number of chains are grouped into a single name that is style okay now we have a style categories uh, the uh, writer uh, uh, it provides this uh, this writer this office writer it provides six style categories uh, for example we can say it can provide a page page uh, page style category that means we can we can give the formatting style to a page uh, all documents in a writer are uh, based on page because in document we have number of pages and hence formatting them it's very necessary so uh, we use page style here uh, and uh, the basic layout like page size its margins we give a size of page which size of page we want in our document its margins placement of header and footer okay footnote borders background etc these are the uh, these are the styles which we uh, these are the formats which we do in page okay and the second style is uh, second style category is paragraph that means we are applying this style category to a paragraph uh, because we have uh, we have gone through page uh, page style that is uh, we are changing margin uh, footnote we are adding header we are adding footer we are adding the background color etc and now in paragraph what we do 
uh, we include some uh, tab stops text alignments or uh, line spacings borders etc okay okay uh, these are the styles uh, these are the style things which we apply in paragraph okay then we have a third one that is character that means we apply style uh, style category to a character uh, in character format we uh, we change the text color we change text color text size uh, we highlight the text or we emphasize it okay then we have frame style in frame style in frame style uh, you can use uh, you can uh, hold the text graphics lists etc and you can apply frames to them okay uh, frame uh, we can say frame is nothing it is a section of a page which have different appearance that means we are dividing our document into sections and each section is named as frame okay then we have frame style frame style is we uh, change the size position border etc of a frame okay then we have another category that is list that means we are applying the style change to a list uh, in uh, style change to a list we uh, are putting we are putting numbering or blades of different kinds specify numbering uh, format etc and then we have tables in tables uh, in table formatting we uh, add the style in such a way we add uh, we add uh, borders okay we add different text or border colors or we add alignment uh, align we align the text inside the table or we have different patterns or text colors okay uh, then we have uh, then we have uh, these are the categories which are used in uh, in style format okay how we uh, format a style how we change our document by using different style categories Categories, okay or uh, we can uh, we can update a new style we can make our own style as well okay uh, this is called as custom style uh, can be created in many ways uh, for example we have uh, from from selection we can uh, we can uh, as well uh, as well create it from from the selection menu that is uh, we have last button in style menu uh, that is uh, which is used to create a new style or modify an existing one we change some positions we change some portions of the document okay we apply the style to to some portion of the document such as we apply to page paragraph character or change its appearance format it as per the requirement okay and uh, then uh, then we update a style instead of creating a new style for small change uh, we can as well update it if for updation you have to select the page and our paragraph to be modified then you have to you have to go to the format and uh, then you have to uh, you have to format the selected portion as per requirement and go to the style menu and click on the button which which style you want uh, you want to update and then you have to change the options okay and uh, then after that you have to load that style on your document okay and uh, this is all about uh, about today's lecture and tomorrow we'll start uh, with some with some new topic okay take care allah